Good morning and welcome to the Battles Within. Today we're continuing our study in math in the uh, Second Peter chapter 2. We're going to actually finish Second Peter chapter 2 today with some really powerful and controversial verses. I was going to read them, verse 20, 21 and 22. It says, For if after they have escaped the pollutions of the world through the knowledge of the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, they are again entangled therein and overcome. The latter end is worse with them than the beginning. For it had been better for them not to have known the way of righteousness than after they have known it to turn from the holy commandment delivered unto them. But it, but it is happened unto them according to the true proverb. The dog is turned to his own vomit again and the sow that was washed to her wallowing in the mire. Okay, there is controversy here in that some people believe that this is talking about people that simply are backsliders. And some believe that they're apostates. An apostate is someone who has known the true way, followed the way, and then rejected Christ anew. And we could go through a variety of messages talking about apostasy. While we, I'm a free will Baptist, and free will Baptists believe in the, the sin of apostasy. That someone who's been saved can of their own free will reject Christ anew. But if they do, there's no hope for them because it's blaspheming in the Holy Spirit. So you could actually be lost twice but only saved once. You're lost to start off with. Then you come to the knowledge of Jesus Christ and accept him. You get saved. And if through the cares of this life or whatever you, you decide to reject Christ, then you don't accept him anymore. You blast him the Holy Spirit. And once you do that, you're never convicted of your sins anymore. So you're never brought back to Christ. So that's why when people who have apostate, they don't want to be saved. They don't want to be right with God anymore. Because God's turned them over to a reprobate mind, he says. So this passage of scripture here is debated uh, because some would believe, as I do, that it's referring to those people who've rejected Christ anew. And it says, if we read that, it says, for if they have, if if after they have escaped the pollutions of the world through the knowledge of the Lord Jesus Christ, how can you escape the pollutions of the world unless you're saved? If you hear about it but don't accept it, you haven't escaped. You're still in the trap. The only way to be out of the snare of the devil is to be saved. So it says here, if they have escaped the pollutions of the world through the knowledge of Jesus Christ, they are again entangled therein. So once they were escaped, once they've been saved, it says, if they are entangled again therein and overcome. In other words, the sins of this world overcome them to the point where they no longer trust in the knowledge of Jesus Christ. He said the latter end is worse for them than the beginning. It would have been better for them never to have been saved. Why? Because now when they go to hell, they'll have their memories. But yes, they'll go to hell because Jesus is the way, the truth, and the light. No man comes to the Father but by him. So if you reject Jesus Christ, whether you reject him to start with or reject him anew, you're still rejecting him. And without him, you can't make it. And he says here that the, that the latter was worse for them than the beginning. He says, for it had been better for them not to have known the way of righteousness than after they had known it to turn from the holy commandment delivered unto them. It's far worse for an apostate than it is for just a simple lost person. You say, what, is hell has different layers of, of torment? Now, that's another story for the other day also. But I believe that there are, I think there are definitely mental anguishes because you can actually think of the times, the opportunities you had to be saved, and yet you rejected Christ. So therefore, you'll go back through eternity, all those opportunities that you had to accept Christ and rejected him anew. So I think that's the case there. But he says, but it, but it has happened unto them according to the true proverb. The dog is returned to his own vomit again, and the sow that is washed to her wallowing in the mire. In other words, you're just as bad as you were before. Actually, you're worse than you were before because now you know the truth or have known the truth, have tasted the heavenly gift, and have rejected it anew. Powerful verses today, folks. You need to read and study that a little more. Uh, there's not much we can do in the short period of time that we have today. But I'm telling you, Peter had it. He understood it. And he, that we need to read it so we can apply it to our own lives. Let's close the word of prayer. Lord, I thank you for this opportunity we have. We can study your word. Help us, Lord, to ever be mindful 